Hi everyone and welcome to my new kitchen. So as we go in on the right hand side we have a lovely big key rack that Derek made to go with this kitchen. So the whole lot is in there which makes life a lot easier because they were all over the place before. So that's lovely. And then underneath we've got the microwave. And then if I go back around this way, I've got my little shelf and the spice and herb rack. The little shelf I found in a charity shop, um, I've had it quite a while, it was green before, so I just painted it the duck egg blue and um, just so it goes with the rest of the kitchen. So that's really nice. And then the um, herb wrap we've had for a long time. And then on the end of this worktop, I've just got some utensils, my garlic and salt cellar, and the olive oil. The garlic and salt cellar were handmade. Derek and I bought that a while ago um, while we were on holiday down in Devon. But they were handmade, so they're lovely to have. And then this cupboard here under that worktop, I have all the cat food on the right hand side. And then I've got baking stuff in this side, but this is only half of it. Now the cupboard above the shelf is not quite finished inside because it has to go around that pillar. So I'm not going to show you in there because it's just odd bits and pieces. So next to there I have my gorgeous cooker. Absolutely love this cooker and um, I've not had any issues with cooking. I've just uh, fallen straight into cooking with it. It's really easy. This bottom oven is a fan oven. And then above I have the grill. And then the other side is the ordinary oven. And then below that is just storage. And then of course on top I've got the seven burners my lovely copper kettle. Derek got that from eBay a while ago. And uh, we have actually used it, but you can taste the copper. So <laughs> we don't use it anymore, but so it's just for show now. And the, um, the copper pan we got when we've been together seven years, because seven years is copper and wool, I think. So, and then Above. By the way, this cooker was 1,297. We got it from AO, if you were interested in it. And it's a, it's Leisure Cookmaster. And then the, um, the hood above, we paid 134 for that. And again, that came from AO. And then next to the cooker, down below, we've got the dishwasher. And then in the corner, we have one of the um, side, or corner cupboards, I should say. So I've got all my pots and pans in there. This one was actually here before, so we've just, as you know from the other videos, we used a lot of the cupboards. And then underneath I have um, um, some, just some racks and tins. So I like to use every space, I don't like to waste space. So um, I've put those under there. So, and as you can see here, Derek's put the oak down the side of the cupboard. And then 
one of the things I was waiting for, which is why I hadn't done this video yet, apart from being ill, um, was these beautiful shells. Derek Han made these for me. Um, I'd always wanted shells in my kitchen, so these these are just the job. I absolutely love them. They're made from oak, and he's varnished them. And as you can see, I've got all my um, flour and sugar, and I've got nuts and seeds up there. And sultanas and uh, toppings for cakes. <laughs> Or Union Jack teapots on the top and then in the corner we've got a cupboard where we keep all our glasses in here so that's a nice one we've actually got some room in there I've cleared so much stuff out that we've actually got spare space <laughs> which is nice it's better to have it that way than not have enough space And I don't know if you noticed, but we put, I'm a bit, I like to do little things that are maybe slightly different. Not because I'm trying to be different, I'm just, that's how I am. We've got a little mouse there. And there's one up the top there. That's my violet plates behind there, as you can see. And then as you come down, there's another one on there. And then we've got the oak leaves. Sorry, at the top, the oak leaves. That's my chicken plates. <laughs> and then we've got the little oak buttons which we've inset into the shelf. All those little wooden bits we bought from, because we live in Hampshire and there's a little shop in Lyndhurst that sells all little, well, all wooden stuff. Everything in there is wooden. So we got them from there. <laughs> so yeah, I like those. And on my egg rack that Derek made for me for Christmas, you can see the little ladybirds. And then just in the corner there, we've got um, spaghetti. We've got two because one was Derek's and one was mine, but we do eat a lot of spaghetti bolognese. I'm always making it, so I've just ended up keeping both of them. And again, we had a pestle and mortar each, so I've just I've kept both of them because they're nice to grind herbs and um, yeah, spices up. So, and then on the windowsill, um, yeah, Derek put the oak, made the oak windowsill and varnished that. So I've got my lovely orchids on there. You may have seen in my house plant tour. And then that little rack with the geese on, um, again, I just bought that from a charity shop. It was green. So all I did was I just, I went round the geese, um, I did undercoats, and then just went over it with the duck egg blue, just so it blends in with the kitchen. So it's my lovely ceramic sink. And the tap we reused, that was here before. So we just reused that. And then the cupboard underneath the sink. So I just have, there's tea towels there and cloths and gloves. Um, there's dishwasher tablets down the bottom. And my compost bin is down the bottom here. Now you may have noticed we've got all different knobs on these cupboards. We bought a whole load of different ones. And uh, yeah, I didn't want them all the same. I wanted them all different. And then of course we've got the washing machine. I'm not one for having cupboard doors over washing machines and dryers. I don't like it. I know some people do, but I'm not over keen on it, so. And then the little cupboard on the end, I've just got um, washing liquid and a kitchen spray and that sort of thing in there. And then I've got oven gloves up the top and aprons. Not that we use aprons that often, but they're in there if we need them. 
that's that one. And then the drawer has got foil and um, cling film and food bags and that sort of thing. And there's some paper straws there. And then we've got our tea and coffee area there. And kettle and everything. And there's all my gorgeous worktops that Derek handmade. And we just oil them. So I've actually re-oiled them today, but we haven't done that since they were put in. So they've all lasted really well. And then that's our fridge freezer. We had always wanted one of these, both of us and my son as well. So we decided to splash out and and get one of these. The fridge freezer cost us 1,586. So, and I do really like it actually. Um, I've never had a fridge freezer as big as that before, so I did wonder if I might struggle with it, but um, no, I do actually like it. It's, uh, that's the freezer bit. So you've got those two compartments in there so I tend to keep meat in this side and then there's vegetables there's a little bit of ice cream there and then this one pulls forward so I tend to have my bread here and then really that's just sort of odd bits and pieces so I do like that And then, um, yeah, we just, it's got the piping on it. So it's got lovely cold water. You can have um, cubed ice or crushed ice. That's supposed to go back. That's it. <laughs> so this is the inside of the fridge. I'll just show you just in case you were interested in buying one of these big fridges. The reviews on this fridge were all really good. Didn't have, I think there was just like one bad review. Um, but the rest of them were all really good. So it's just sort of odd bits and pieces in there. And then the top shelf, um, because I eat a lot of seeds and nuts, some of them are in there. And then we've got this homemade chutneys behind there, there's yogurt cream you can see there's jams and then we've got ham smoked sausage down there bacon spreads we don't really drink these very often um, but they're just in there yeah so that's dried fruit and seeds and nuts and this one um, is potatoes I've got some broccoli in there And then this one again, I've got vegetables and onions in there. Now you can see that that's running at 3 centigrade. The freezer's at 19 centigrade. We've got the ice maker off. We don't really um, have a lot of ice this time of year. But in the summer it would be lovely. Although my son was having it the other day when he was washing the car. <laughs> he was coming in for cold drinks and ice. Um, and then in this big pull-out drawer, we've just got yogurts and I usually keep salad in there. I've got to go shopping tomorrow and you see that's just cheese. And then in this door, um, that's just odd bits up there. Milk, because I buy six bottles of these large milk every week. We get through quite a lot of milk. So um, I store three in there and then the one that we're using goes in there. And then we've got squash, oh, then we've got squash in there. So now because of the water, the cold water coming through, this you do have to change the filter, um, but you change it every six months. Now they are expensive, but we did manage to get some cheaper ones. Um, I can't remember what company it was, but it was on Amazon. So you do have to twist that and just take it out every six months. So, but very pleased with that. And that's a Samsung. If you can see, yeah, you can see. We've got my little 
sign up there. Family, this home is filled with love and dreams. Excuse the washing outside. Yeah, so our two bins are over here as well as you probably noticed. Got rubbish and recycling behind. I prefer to have the bigger bins. I'm not over keen on keep taking rubbish out all the time. So I literally only change these bags once a week and I line the bottom of the rubbish one with, with bread bags or something. And I'll cap that as my chicken mat. Don't bother with the chicken mat. <laughs> we made the frame to go around that. And then this side, my lovely picture on the wall. My mum bought me that picture for my 50th birthday. So I've got my little chalk. <laughs> Welcome to my new kitchen. <laughs> now this side, one of the things when we were thinking about getting a new kitchen was that the kitchen people don't like it when you say, I want cupboards that go up to the ceiling. And we were told it won't look right. Well, this is one of the reasons we did it ourselves. So that's what we did and we absolutely love it. Now I'll just show you these open up and they've got the little arm on them we've got spare tea and coffee and cereal and that in there but I think they look lovely and I don't like space on top of the covers because it just gets wasted as far as I'm concerned so I just I like I like that anyway so the first cupboard here, I've got tins in that side mainly, there's some rice and then this side we've got uh, spreads and mayo and there's biscuits up there, Marmite, we're big Marmite fans. <laughs> and then underneath obviously we've got the bread bin and then next to it we've got the toaster. And then in the large cupboards next to it, we've got all our crockery and the mugs and bowls and everything. Now I've actually literally just changed this today because I had this space here was empty. There was nothing there. So I took those green bowls out of the top there, put them over there and then these mugs we're down in the bottom cupboard these ones that we just take out with us so I moved them up there and then this cupboard under the bread bin has got um, oh yeah so those mugs I took out so I put the bread board well bread and shopping boards in there and there's a tray but we've, as you can see, we've got graters, we've got uh, mixing bowls, there's a couple of chopping boards there. That box in there has got um, my mixer in, my electric mixer. So there's jugs in there. And we've got flasks and the water bottles in there. So there's still plenty of room. I'm not lacking in room. I'm not sort of thinking where can I put this that or the other I have got plenty of room so next to there I've got the drawers again we changed the handles Derek already had these because he makes boot boxes so that's our cutlery the top one and then the second one that's just tin openers bread knives whisks and then the third one Just kitchen utensils, knives, spoons that Derek takes to work. So we just got some old ones there. And then in the bottom, there's probably a handful of stuff actually that I'm not using. So I'm going to clear out in there. So I never use this for instance. And I don't ever use this, so that might go. So, And then... 
next to the drawers we've got a little cupboard so that's got because this comes out sorry this comes out so we keep our crisps in there crisps and um, little snacks and then the second one comes out so we've just got i every time i make cakes i put them in there that's got kit kats in if you like kit kats and then the one down the bottom has just got snacks and things and things there's two um tins down the bottom and then my dryer is next to it i don't really use the dryer that often i certainly don't use it now um the washing's outside today as you saw through the window and if I dry it inside, I dry it upstairs on an error. It's only if the weather is really bad and I'm getting a backlog of washing that I'll use it. But it's there. I've had it a long time and I always try and take care of my white goods. So that's some lovely flowers my mum bought me because we've not been well. Oh, this end cupboard. Uh, we keep tea and coffee. That's a little bit messy, actually. Sorry about that. It's got um, a lot of fruit tea bags in that we need to use. But there's tea and coffee up the top. Um, so fruit tea bags, that sort of thing. And then down the bottom, we've got cereal. And talking about these cupboards up here again, that middle one is actually empty. It's just got a couple of um, empty jars in there. And that one up there has got vases and jugs in and some egg boxes. So I do keep my um, oats up the top there because um, I have them a lot and they didn't fit in with the cereal cupboard. So, And then coming down, we haven't actually quite done it yet, but we're going to make a shelf that goes across there for the cat food. That's just the wooden box upside down. Um, but yeah, we there are a few odd bits that we haven't finished. Um, as you see there, we, we haven't gone across the tops of the plugs. So there's just a handful of bits. We just haven't had time. We're going back to work and not being well. It's, um, yeah, a few bits have got left, but... Um, But I absolutely love it and would I do it again or would we do it again um, it was eight weeks of non-stop work um, but I think actually for the cost of it it cost us um, £6,417 now we were quoted over 25000 to have a new kitchen and that wasn't including taking the old one out. So for the cost that we've done it, in fact, it's probably come in at 6,000 because we sold some bits and pieces. Um, yeah, it's probably come in at 6,000. So when you're quoted over 25,000 for a kitchen and you're not getting exactly what you want, I just think that we've done a pretty amazing job and Derek actually has done an amazing job. I would like to say thank you very much, Derek, because he worked so hard to get this done for me. So, oh yes, by the way, so this flooring, the flooring cost 997 and the oak for all the worktops, that was 1,482. I will leave the prices in the description just in case you're interested in the fridge freezer or the cooker or hood or something. So um, as you know from the videos, if you watched, we took this wall out um, so we did have a plasterer come in to do that for us as a friend of ours, but we didn't have to pay for it. His um, machine, washing machine, 
was not very good. So we gave him our old washing machine. Because we've moved in together, we had two. And so my one's gone in and the wash, the other washing machine that we had, we gave to our friend who did the plastering. So it didn't actually cost us anything. So sometimes you can barter these things. So you go through here and into the dining room. I'm not going to show you the table because it's in a mess. <laughs> so that goes. So again, we haven't quite finished in here. You can see up there. We've just got to put a bit of coving in and that wall has got to be painted. And there's a little bit of skirting got to be put in. And the um, radiator cover has got to be um, properly attached to the wall again. You can see through there our lounge is back to normal. <laughs> and yeah, so I oiled my pine dresser because it was so dry. It really was such a light colour, it was terrible. So I oiled all of that and we painted that wall before we put it back so that we didn't have to pull it out again um, because it's attached to the wall up the top. So yeah, but I'm just loving this. It's just like one massive open big room now. Oh, <laughs> cat's toys. Our youngest cat loves the toys still, so. But it's lovely, we can... Uh, open these doors together in the summer and it's just lovely to be able to go out. So that's my new kitchen. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're not keen on it, please be kind. <laughs> um, but yeah, just let me know what you think. And um, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate you visiting my little channel. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye for now.